Here we have another math CST question for the multi-subject exam. I think this question is very important for the BERT to grade two exam. So let's give it a go. Corporate salaries are listed for several employees. Which would be the best measure of central tendency? So all three of these, mean, median, and mode, these are all appropriate ways to measure central tendency. But sometimes, depending on the data, one way might be much better than the other. So they want the best measure of central tendency. So let's see what would be the best and let's explain how we would get that. I think to make this a little simpler, let's write these salaries out in a straight line from short from uh, lowest to highest. So we have 2400 24000. Then we have another 24000. Then we have a 26000. 28000 and 30000. And 120000. Okay, cool. Let's let's talk about choice D first. No difference. No difference means that the mean, median, and mode are all the same. But we can prove that uh, wrong really quickly. Uh, let's look at the mode. So mode is the most frequent number. So which number, which salary is the most frequent? That's going to be right here, 2,400. There's two of these. No other salary to repeat. So the mode is 24. Thousand. Now let's talk about the median. The median is the middle number when you when you have it from low to high, which we did already. So let's see here. Let's find the median. Not these two. Not these two. But it's going to be these two. When we have two numbers that are the median, we want to find the average. So that's just going to be. Well. The average is the same thing as the middle. So what's the middle of 26,000 and 28,000? That's just 27,000 to save us some work. So the median is 27,000. So the median and the mode are different. So we can already remove D. Now let's check. Now that we know that they're different, let's see which one of these three would be the best. So now I, I'm going to say that the answer will not be the mode because the mode is 24,000 and that's the lowest salary. We shouldn't use the lowest salary to re represent the central tendency, right? The central tendency is like the number that best represents the whole company. So the lowest salary shouldn't best represent the whole company. That wouldn't make sense. So now we have between the median and the mean. Now, the mean is the same thing as average, which most of the time, the average will be what we want. For example, if we have Let's use some easier numbers on the side here. Let's say we want the average of the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, 4, 5. To get the average, we add all five numbers together and we get 9, 15. And then we divide it by the amount of numbers we have. So we have five numbers total, that's 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3. So the mean of these three of these five numbers, one, two, three, four, and five, is three. And that that kind of works nicely. It's the middle number. But that only works well when the numbers we have are all close together. And the problem here with the mean in this problem is this hundred twenty thousand salary this one person is making. This number is so far away from all the other salaries that it's going to really mess up the mean.
or the average. And it will not properly give us an average that works for us. So mean is not what we want here because of this really high salary that we have. So the only answer choice we have left would be the median. Because this 27,000 best represents the majority of the salaries. And to understand again why mean doesn't make sense here, let's use the same example we had down here with the one, two, three, four, five. And let's say we had one, two, three, four, and let's do, let's say 500 instead of five. Then the average of this would be 510 divided by five. And that's just 102. Now, 102 does not represent these five numbers properly because that 500 throws, throws off the average by a lot. So this is why the median is the best central tendency measure for this problem. The mode is the lowest number, so we don't want to use that. And the mean or average is going to get messed up or skewed because of that really high number that's kind of like an outlier.